Nodes are like neurons in our brains. And it has synapses, which send signals to another nodes, and a receives signals. Every asset has a start node. Next, you can start building neural network, I mean, node map, for your asset. By connecting them with each other with synapses, I mean, input and output slots. Node map is literally brain of your asset. It can be simple, and it can be very complex. Each node has its own job or function. And they can interact with other nodes in current assets node map. Or even send signals out of current asset to another's asset node map, like two or more people communicating with each other. One says something, and other hears it. If you are neuroscientist, then it is really no problem at all for you to create node maps for your assets. But what if you are not neuroscientist? Well, let's learn it then. Games. There are already many nodes with different functions you can use. At start, overwhelmingly many. But as you get better and better at neuroscience, you will find out that clearly there is not enough different nodes. But good thing about Buildbox 3 is that you can get custom nodes from Buildbox forum or Discord. Or even make your own custom nodes. With many nodes, there is an option to open script editor. In there, you can add stuff, remove stuff, or modify current stuff. For making your own nodes, you have to learn JavaScript. Which might be a bummer. But hey, neuroscience is not easy either. But this is beginner's guide. Let's learn basic stuff. Like, how to add nodes. When to add nodes. How to connect them with each other. Why do we need nodes anyway, you might ask. Because, asset without nodes is like a man without brain. That's why we need nodes. To open assets node map, just double click on it. Let's start with 3D model node. It gives a shape and color to your asset. Without it, asset is invisible. Well, actually we can replace 3D model node with animation node. This works for 2D games, as PNG files are two-dimensional. If you want your asset to do stuff, when touching screen, or touching asset, or touching some button, there are nodes for that in controls menu. If you add touch node, you need to connect it with start node. Because start node is where it all starts. And touch nodes understands you when you touch the screen. It really understands you. But touch node have no idea what to do that information when you touch screen. You have to connect its synapse, I mean, output, with another node, which does stuff when touching the screen. For example, you can add move node with touch node. So, when you touch screen, touch node sends signal to move node, and move nodes activates, and starts moving, however you specified it to move. So, when you touch, it activates move node, which moves asset. Same logic is with rotation node. Start node activates touch node. If you touch, then touch node understands you and sends signal to rotation node to activate rotation movement. And of course, rotation node needs to be connected with touch node. This is very simple example of connecting nodes. It gets much more complex if one node sends out signal to multiple nodes and each of them does their own job. Example of that would be if collide node. It is connected with start node because if it is not connected with start node, if collide does not get any signal to do its job. It would just sit there and do nothing. But when connecting with start node, it is ready for its job. Now we need to tell to if collide node that if this asset collides with ground, then it sends out signal to activate next node or nodes. For that, there is affected asset option. Let's set affected asset to ground. Now, when this asset touches ground, if collide node gets activated and sends out signal. Now we need to connect another node with if collide node, otherwise nothing happens. Let's add defeat node and connect it with if collide node. Now, when asset collides with the ground, it sends out signal to defeat node. Defeat node removes asset's 3D model node. So it becomes invisible. We can add another node, debris explosion node. And connect it with defeat node. So, if asset collides with the ground, 
defeat nodes gets triggered, removes asset's 3D model, and sends out signal to debris explosion node, which spawns another assets, giving explosion effect. In debris explosion node, there are many settings, how you can set up your explosion. You have to give an asset's name, which it uses to spawn explosion parts. For that, we have to make that asset. In 3D world view, double click on ground's asset to open its mind map. We have to enable physics, otherwise nothing can collide with it. For that, click on start node and click on enable physics. On type field, select static. Because static objects does not move and we don't want ground to fall down. Back to 3D world and open assets library. Here you can add all kind of different shapes to your game. Let's add another cube by double clicking on it. And close assets library by clicking on it again. Rename this asset. For example, explosion. Open its node map by double clicking on it. Click on start node and enable physics. We want its type to be dynamics because explosion parts should have physics. So they can scatter around and fall down. Let's go back to 3D world view and open cubes node map again. Back to debris explosion node. Now we can tell this node to spawn explosion asset for explosion effect. Probably you want to change scale values too, to make its parts smaller. At the moment, explosion asset is white color, so it blows out white cubes. But you can uncheck, use original color, and set your own color for explosion parts. Red for example. Now, when this asset collides with the ground, defeat nodes gets triggered, and it sends out signal to debris explosion node. But before we can test it, we need to enable physics for this asset. So, click on start node and enable physics. Type should be dynamics, so it is affected by physics and starts falling down. Eventually it collides with ground and explosion should happen. Let's test this theory. Boom. Subscribe. Boom. Thank you for watching. Boom.